Hello, collective. How are we doing? Um, well, as I'm sitting here getting and organizing my cards, Spirit's giving me a lot of information. And um, somebody's still on the fence of what they're about to do. Like, they're on the precipice of doing something ridiculously stupid that's going to end them in jail. However, the way I'm seeing this is is that that stupid mistake leads to a massive awakening okay somebody acting like a total fool and then like there, there's this i've been getting energy all day you guys and i've been making sense of a lot of different things the energy that's massively important right now there's how many, how many, please show me the, uh, the amount of people spirit. Two, there's two men right now. <clears throat> I'm being told, do not give any descriptions. I'm just being told to describe them by man A and man B. Okay. I'm being told... Male A It's indecisive. I it will, it'll get, come out in the reading, but there's there's two men. Okay. And it's revolving around a divine masculine and a divine feminine. Okay. But there is a third party, so there's the, the main female and two other men. Now, the main female here is the one we're focusing on. She is the one that has to come out and figure out which one of these two men are truly, truly the man she wants to be with. Okay. So, at this point, it's like the Divine Feminine is at a point where she needs to make up her mind and take a leap of faith in the direction in which she wants. However, the gestures I'm being told, the gestures that the main female are doing for her choice are already being done. I'm being shown generous gifts, thoughtful, very thoughtful gifts, very intimate gifts, things that really hold a sentimental value. It's not just frivolous shit, you know, and I, I frivolous shit, I mean, excuse the term, but it could be just... You know, something you got on, you know, oh, a quick little, oh, I was at the, the, the airport and I forgot to get you something kind of shit, like a little chintzy, whatever. <laughs> you know, I know it's the thought that counts, but when I talk about like really emotional gifts, it's something that somebody sits down for hours or days or months or years planning out for this person. Thoughtful gestures of pure love and, and, and true romance something somebody saw like that really was just like that 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 person my person truly needs this like it's it's a momentum that any time this person looks at it there's no way that they couldn't think of me when they saw it okay those sorts of things okay possibly putting i don't know i'm being shown somebody tattooing their body with something that signifies something you know People do that in childish nonsense, you know? It's childish nonsense sometimes. Or people could really do it and really mean it. Like, I know people that get beautiful pieces tattooed that have no other tattoos. They get it right around their finger to, you know, symbolize a, a joyous occasion. Like, that's something I would... When I marry the person that the Most High sends to me to spend the rest of my life with, and I'm graced to be blessed under him... To spend the rest of my life there underneath the whatever I wear if I choose not to because I do a lot of gardening. So I need to make sure that whatever I put there will be there for the rest of my life. Because every tattoo on my personal body has a meaning and, and, and it's part of a chapter in my life. And it just symbolizes something. 
reminds me of the journey that I've been on because like I've said in a video before maybe a few videos I've lived the lifetime of five people man so you can ask me about every single tattoo I have on my, my body and I'd be more than happy to explain it to you and you know but I think you know doing some kind of grand gesture for somebody is something that you need to look at okay if you if I'm being told to say that if you hold cards that people write to you and you you keep them out and you want to remember you know those special moments of when you receive them or just anything that's made for you you keep and it's you display it proudly and you just you do all of those things and anytime somebody asks you about it you tell them with pride where it came from you tell them that somebody that you truly love and care for made it for you or gave it to you or whatever the case may be that's how you know when somebody just says I don't know I, I don't really keep things that don't mean anything to me you know I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry there's only certain things that I wear this watch every day and this bracelet every day I haven't taken it off but to shower and to go and wash the dishes and do those things so it doesn't get ruined but like I, I wear my gauges and that's it I don't wear anything because I'm tattooed and I like the way I look without jewelry the only other piece of jewelry I'm looking for is my you know whatever decides to end up on either hand of my you know for rings if I choose to ever wear one or I'm given one okay so with that being said I thought that was necessary that people need to think about when they're making big decisions in their life especially with whatever the hell is going on this week okay whatever the hell is actually going on this week this is a big life-changing decision and you're sitting here and I'm getting your energy whoever you are okay and you're sitting here deciding between two people like yeah she does all of this for me but there's still this there now here's the thing I feel like it, it's stemming around t I don't know why God keeps showing me my tattoos okay the thing is is I'm gonna show you something I'm not I'm not proud of this one this one is not my finest moment however it is something I'm planning on getting covered up there's a few on my body I have one on my hip that needs to go I have this one that needs to go and I have one on my shoulder that needs to be revamped Okay. There are parts in my life like this. This was a piece of artwork I drew. The guy was terrible. He did a shit job and good thing I didn't have to pay for it. So that one needs to get up, get changed. I have another one on my hip that needs to go. And my grandmother who has since my awakening shown to me to be the true guardian angel that I always knew she was. And I have to, I have to beautify her tattoo. So, you know, like Things can get changed. If you don't want them there, you can get rid of them. Okay? May fucking hurt. <laughs> you know, especially in the sensitive spots. But it's doable. If it really needs to be covered up. You understand? So things to change. Pay attention to what's happening in this moment. Ah, my favorite band, by the way. Outside of the doors just saying for anybody that gives two flying hoopity hoops we'll talk music another time but anyway the point of the matter is collective is if you love someone and you truly want to be with them nothing in life there is nothing in this life that they wouldn't do for you and if it made you happy and if it really made, if, it, if they were like kind of on the fence about it, then that's something you'd have to think about. However, if they're like, yeah, sure, whatever, let's figure out what we can put over it, you know? Like, the tattoo I want to do on my hip here, I have a friend, a very good friend, somebody I love very dearly, that I asked to paint me a sunflower. Now, once I get that sunflower, if I can, con you know, convince him whoever he may be, to do it for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's what's going there. So, I, I find that this man's artwork to be the most beautiful artwork I've ever seen, and I know quite a few beautiful art paint artists. I paint myself. I'm not, like, anything that can do anything crazy like that. But I know some amazing watercolorists, and this man tops them all. 
So, just saying, anything in this life can be changed. Somebody that was young and naive can blossom into a beautiful sunflower. That's a possible thing. Especially when there's something there that she really wants. I don't know. I don't know why God is making me talk to you guys like this. Maybe I do need to go back to school to be like some kind of something. But the, the fact of the matter is, is everything in life that's worth changing will be changed. As long as it's worth it. I don't know why tattoos are a big deal right now. But, you know, the more I talk about it, the more I want it. So we need to get on with it. So we're going to just ask the Holy Divine to come down. Please and guide me. Protect me. Allow your angels to come down and help me. Archangel Gabriel, please come down and allow me to channel precise, clear, truthful messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, please come down and protect me and the collective. Wrap your wings around us and protect us from any evil that may be surrounding this reading. Okay? Thank you guys. Thank you. Holy Spirit is with me, always on my left side. I feel I feel the touch of his hand on my face. I know he's with me. I know I am protected. So, here we go. What are we doing first, Spirit? Not this. Was it that? Yeah? Okay. All right, we'll get the zodiac. We'll see what's going on today. Like, excuse my pens. I've been journaling. Oh, now that I mentioned it, I'm going to say this for the millionth and a half time, and that's okay. I don't mind saying things a hundred times. I have a two-year-old, so it's it's become a habit to say things a hundred times before I pop my lid. So <laughs> my patience has grown immensely. I've asked the Holy Spirit for that gift, and he has graced me with it. So I'm going to say this for all of you new guys, because we're growing. We're growing. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I look forward to blessing one of you guys with some fun things to have to spruce up your home. Now, um, with that, where was I going? Journaling. Yes. Please, whoever this resonates with, get you a, a journal. Get you a journal. One that you feel. One that you vibe with. Like, let me show you mine. Okay. I literally thought I lost this yesterday and I was hysterically crying. Okay. Because this one holds so much meaning to me. And one day there's someone very special that I want to share this with. And there's somebody that there on your end, whoever this message is for in the collective today, that you're going to be wanting to share yours with. So here's the deal. Go get, go get, I, I went to Barnes and Noble. That is like my favorite place in the entire universe. And get, I got this. I'm a clearance shopper. I'm a bargain shopper. No matter how much money I have in the world, I will always be that way. I'm a thrifty person. So I was in the bargain center looking for books for my son, and I saw this, and I'm like, yes, I'm a Leo by sun and a Scorpio by moon. So I thought it was pretty cool, thought it was pretty fit fitting. My whole life I've always had stuff like this around me. So there you go. Get one that speaks to you, okay? One that speaks directly into your soul. And I want to remind you gently again, please get you a piece of spirit is asking you specifically, get a piece of clear quartz. I have a few of them laying around my house. If you need a piece, let me know. I know a great place in Mariposa, California, where you can get your crystals as well as the candles that I make. Just letting us slide that in there. Just saying. Anyway, um, but yes, when you buy crystals... Please buy ones, go in, for the first one you get, you need to touch it, okay? You need to feel the energy that's going to come off of it. It'll speak to you. Don't just buy one, okay? Don't just buy one on Amazon and just have it shipped to you. No, put a little effort into this and actually get you a piece of crystal. Clear, clear quartz, okay? Clear quartz. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. It'll speak to you. Mine is just not even really polished or carved or anything. It's just a piece of clear quartz crystal. All of these have spoken to me. Like they have given me their energy and said, yes, I need to come home with you. I, ch I charge them every full moon. Sometimes I just, certain ones like I leave out there just to stay in the moon, to bathe in it for, you know, if I decide to use them for certain things, for like spiritual baths and stuff, I don't want to use. These are just my main crystals. Six of them. So go and get you a little gem book 
get you something that you can do and start putting some effort into actually channeling and learning to use your abilities okay because there's something very important that you need to do with them and your talents okay I'm being told you have talent what am I doing I'm being told your talents are extraordinarily important in this particular situation your special gifts I'm being told special gifts that you don't really talk about okay special gifts you don't really talk about you keep yourself something that's like yeah it's not really your business I don't really like that you know about this yeah those things mm -hmm. those are what you need to focus on right now you need to get your ass in front of whatever it is that is your median to get the stress out and you need to put everything you have into it if you're a musician play that guitar out I mean jam until your fingers bleed if you play the piano play it if you sing sing like normally I don't sing in front of people but recently I've been letting my gifts out I used to have uh, I used to be in choir I used to sing. since I was in I want to say kindergarten I've been singing for a while there I stopped because I actually was smoking cigarettes and then I quit that in 27 yeah <laughs> nasty nasty and the only thing I do now is smoke the green man that's it if it ain't coming from the earth God wasn't intending me to use it point blank ever since I straightened up 14 years ago I haven't really I mean there was a few times in there for a party and whatever but like nothing that could no mm -mm. no nah, I'm good so you know why am I going off this tangent because it's important There was something I was going towards for this. It'll come back to me. But the, the whole point of this whole thing is that, you, oh yes, your your you, whatever it is that you do as your like your hidden talent, you need to put everything you have into it. We have the sun, Leo. Leo. <laughs> well. Mars. We have Leo, Leo, Mars. Leo, Leo, Mars. So, now, okay, here's what I'm being told to explain to you right now. I feel that there's somebody like, what does this mean? Okay, so I'm being told that somebody's sun sign is in Leo. Their Mars sign is in Leo. They could also be, uh, now there's somebody's sun sign in Aries? No. Yes. Sun sign could possibly in, be in Aries, and their Mars could and or Mars could be in Aries. Aries and Leo are significant in both Sun and Mars, but somebody has a Sun in Leo and a Mars in Leo. The only reason I'm saying that is because of the fact that it's out here twice like that. That's what Spirit is telling me to say, is that he put it out here like this is because he needs you to know what's in those two places that's why it's out here twice because if Aries was supposed to be in those two places twice he would have had Aries out here twice instead of Leo okay on the bottom of the deck is Gemini okay so somebody's Sun might be in Gemini somebody's sun, Mars might be in Gemini somebody that might be in Aries may have however it is in the chart I'm being told to continuously look at the natal charts Find the placements. If you're that interested in it, if it's resonating that significantly with you, go to astrosofa.com, cafeastrology.com, and utilize the tools that are free to you on Google. Everybody uses them. They're accurate. I've checked my particular placements in five, how many, four, three or four different places online, and they've always come up accurate. So I know my astrology. So if you're interested in your somebody's I feel like there's somebody questioning all of this so I'm just saying if you're questioning it that hard please just go and, and do the research okay so oh, I feel like I'm teaching <laughs> maybe I do need to teach this maybe I do need to teach about something spiritual anyway what do we got, to what do we got going on today Okay, something is in poverty. There's a gift.
Okay. You guys see it. I'm just picking them up. I always feel like somebody's like watching my hands. Like, what is she doing? Always questioning. Like, I feel like whoever this person is, is so inquisitive. Constantly, like, I'm waiting to see her hand slip, watching the cards move, like, putting placements and stuff like that. No. This is all the Holy Spirit. You can judge me. Fine. Do whatever you want. I will make sure my hands are right here so you can see them when I'm shuffling. I really feel like I'm speaking to somebody directly. We have a main female who may be in poverty. Has a family and a gift that brings sudden wealth. Okay. If you want to see what I'm doing. Sudden wealth is putting somebody in despair and being cho told over the choice of why am I being told over the choice of a dog that he chose? That's weird. Why is that freak? Why is this so strange? That is the most random nonsense. Okay, the heck say what spirit tells me to say even if I don't want it then like that's just weird anything else spirit an imprisonment So there's imprisonment, theft, I'm being told to lay them out exactly like this. <sighs> Let me make sense of this for a second. The wealthy man again. He comes out quite often. Is putting to rest toil and labor. Is putting to rest turmoil, despair are the words I'm being told. Turmoil and despair are being put to rest. But what about this imprisonment and this theft? And what's going on with the family room and expectations? Hmm. There's a journey. to someone's house but right now they're on their pathway okay this unexpected income is going to come from the courthouse someone's concern about the great fortune is making them figure out which way they want to choose this courtship what Well, there you are. What do you want now? <laughs> I'm being told in the original premonition there was two men. Spirit's giving me the faces of these two men quite clearly. I'm still not allowed to say anything about what they look like, okay? 
I'm being told to be very specific. The main male is sh is person B. Okay. Person what? They're the same person. I'm being told that the, the second person in the situation doesn't matter anymore. He's just, if he were to ever show back up, he would be greeted graciously, treated with respect, howdy, how you doing, what, shoot the shit, and that'd be it. The main male is the wealthy man. There is no other man for this female. I'm being told specifically, nobody. Okay? Yes, she may have a family, but that doesn't mean that this family doesn't include this wealthy man, this main man, whoever this person is. I'm told to keep it specifically vague. Okay. The only, I'm being told that she, this main female, whoever you're thinking about right now, only has eyes for one man. Even though there's multiple options, I'm being told how many options, Spirit. I'm not being allowed to tell you. But I'm being told that there is only one person. She only has one rose. She only wants to give it to this person. She thinks about him day and night. She does anything she can to remind him that she's there and wants to be there and that she truly loves him. Okay? She will give him the gift of anything she can to show him that she's only there for him and only him, no matter what he has. Whether he's just the main male and just happily walking down the path of righteousness, or he's walking down the same path as her, walking down the path of righteousness, being wealthy and happy and abundant together, either which way. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm being told... That there's nothing here, whether she's in poverty or in wealth, would she change how she feels about you? Nothing. So don't be in despair, Spirit's saying, specifically. Don't sit there thinking you're going to be out on your ass with nothing. Okay, because it doesn't matter. As long as you come in with good intentions, whether she's poor or rich, with any type of unexpected income. Okay? whatever type of unexpected income she gets. Whether she gets it or not, she will always want you for you. Specifically from spirit, as long as you continue to follow the butterflies and go to the light that you're supposed to be going towards. Follow spirit. Follow the butterflies, I'm being told. Follow the butterflies to the light. And you will be abundantly rewarded. Anytime I see this card, I always feel like it's a, a it's a journey. Whatever pathway that they're taking is a journey to enlightenment one way or another. Because what doesn't matter which road you take, you're going to end up finding your way one way or another because you're going to have to whether you take the path that leads you the but you take the one that's got the light at the end of the tunnel that you can honestly see or if you want to take the twisty, windy road because you want to go on an adventure and see what the hell happens just for the shit of it, you know, whatever you want to do. You're going to be enlightened at the end of it because you're going to have to one way learn. You can either take the easy way out or you can take the hard way out. You just need to choose which way you want to go. So you need to sit there and uh, take a, a good think about what you want to do, whoever you are. Okay? So if you're the main female and you're questioning you know, yourself about who you want, everything I've said in this video is something that you need to think about. You know, if you're thinking about, you know, sitting here and you're like, what do I do to get this person to realize that I really, truly love him? Like, is there something about me that just kind of like, ah, that's like your old life. I just really don't like that about you. Can you just make it go away so I don't have to think about it and feel like you're going to go back to that lifestyle again? If your person truly loves you, that should be something you'd, that person would be willing to do for you or find a way to compromise. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So mean female or main male, okay? Whoever, the, you know, it doesn't matter what you have. Now, th I'm going to say this like this. Whoever you are, whether you're the, the female that's wealthy, okay, 
and you're you're fearing the the possibility of poverty if your main man really truly loves you nothing you could do like you could show up on his doorstep okay and he would open his door and hug you as fiercely as if you had everything in the world at your foot at your feet or if you were just there with a backpack full of clothes and your heart on, on your sleeve saying I this is where I'm at okay if you truly 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 love your person it doesn't matter what you have in the 3d it's all about what's inside your hearts okay so I'm being told that I'm allowed to put away the kipper because that was the lesson for today now I am going to I was told to bring out Big Bertha and also have love and confusion on deck now we're gonna get into the history behind the the how am I supposed to you remember that that third party that just doesn't really matter anymore um, yeah we're gonna get into the history about that if there's anything in here okay that can explain the situation a little bit okay I'm being told to keep these separate just in case spirit needs to use Kipper again we can add it to that instead of having it come out again now where am I starting here yes put my crystal back up okay I don't ever look at the screen when I shuffle up because if I am not told to look at the bottom, you guys can see this. So if there's something here you need to see, I'm going to leave my hand away for a second before I shuffle because you're meant to see it. I'm, I'm not. Okay. So I'm not looking. I can't see you. You see, I can't, you can't see. Like I don't look when I'm shuffling over here. I'm actually looking right here. See, when I put my hand over this, it's because I'm looking at you. So pay attention. If you want to pay attention to how I'm doing this, you feel free to try to copy me. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. If you're learning because you want to actually learn something from me and actually be spiritually guided, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to use the gifts that you're being given to be sneaky. All right? So, whatever it is, I feel like that th it's, it's very important for me to tell you what spirit tells me to tell you because some people out there, you know, come to these readers to copycat what they're doing. Now... If you weren't divinely gifted with this, don't try to copycat, please, please. In my own personal readings, I know what's going on. I do readings for myself, okay? So just, just want, be mindful of what you do, collective, to whomever, you know, remember, whoever's watching, whether it be a cross watcher or whether it be, you know, somebody actually trying to learn, okay? I'm giving you a teaching moment here. In this particular situation now, you need to be mindful of your intentions and your thoughts because if those two things are connected and what you put out don't forget will put right be put right back on your head and I want to remind you think about it as a scale okay think about it I'm being told specifically to say it as the Libra scale what good karma bad karma which one do you want to fill up more which 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 one do you want to have weighed down i personally want good karma so I, I i do everything i can to make sure this one's filled okay so now where was i now here we go You want your freedom, then have it, I release you. I'm being told to say this is what's currently happening in that situation. This is from the past. Present, past, present, past. I'm going to get signs, I think, for all of these things, maybe. I need a bigger table. I'm being told to take this, too. Listen, darling, I know just how to bring you to your knees in the middle. From here? in the middle either way in the middle I'm being told okay alright now I'm being told because this situation is going both ways for both parties okay the ones that don't, the third parties that no longer matter matter this is the reason why 
these are the reasons I'm being told specifically that these people don't matter anymore because somebody, there was some situation where there was police involvement. Okay, so we're going to put this over here, fine. Maybe this was in the beginning and I was just fighting spirit, I don't know. The case is, is that police involvement happened at some point. Nothing beats a quiet evening at home, alone. Okay. We have the Divine Masculine put over, over here. Okay. It's a give and take kind of love. Your DM is up to no good with another female up here you want your freedom I have you then have it I release you I'm over this that's part of this wow my stomach just flippy flopped okay your divine feminine def your divine feminine's karmic male is keeping her away from you okay so we have divine masculine now I'm being told to move this away from here. This is supposed to come over here. It has nothing to do with where I place it has nothing to do with the zodiac signs, okay? Now, divine masculine. You whoever you are in this situation, okay? Your DM is up to no good with another female. You're up to no good with another female, okay? However, your divine feminine has a karmic male that's keeping her away from you. However, that karmic male is, I'm being told, is the one that doesn't matter anymore. That wants freedom, that wants to be released, and they're over it, and they're tired of it, and they're just being done with it. Okay? Before any police involvement gets involved, so that, you know, they can keep the peace and have quiet evenings alone in a way to do whatever it is they need to do for themselves, like work. Um, because it's a give and take kind of love, you know? If... I'm being told to say if one person works during the day, the other person, ha that person has to be understanding and be, you know, keep the peace and, you know, give a little bit. If that person staying home, taking care of business all day, they can take care of business for them at night while they're out working. You know what I'm saying? It's a give and take kind of situation. Okay. Now. I'm being told that somebody is being really, really frivolous with their money. They're giving it to people. Oh, go go spoil yourself. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Okay. Now, I'm being told to put this over here. Because that person that you're doing that to, you have police involvement, and they're talking shit about you, and they lie to you specifically to your face. And because you're so entrapped with them, okay, they, you know, this could go either way you know, as well. Take it how it resonates for your situation. Whoever this person is that got you in trouble, whether, whether it be a man or a female, if you had like a sugar, you know, a sugar, uh, a sugar mama or a sugar daddy, whatever they were doing, they took too much advantage. They were lying to you, manipulating you to get this money out of you. And then they talked all that shit behind your back while they got you in trouble. Okay. Specifically like that. Now, this is an, uh, okay. Is this three different scenarios? Pick the one that fits for you, is what I'm being told. Okay. It says this is, this is for a multitude, a multiple, wait, there's multiple people watching that need to watch this and see this. That ha okay. There's an online stalker. Now, I don't, I'm running, I don't want to get the Zodiac mixed up, so I'm going to keep this over here bring this in closer so I have some more room. I need a bigger table. There we go. Okay. Somebody, somebody's online stalking. When I say online stalking, I mean every post this person sees it. Every, if you're on, you know, if you have a platform like this and somebody's, they watch every, they, I mean, they got it. The, the magnifying glass is there like hello I see everything like kind of like what spirits doing right now like I'm watching you yes online stalker if somebody's just doing like Google searches to try to figure out who certain people that's not stalking that's just trying to figure out and put pieces together of a puzzle that just doesn't make any fucking sense man not watching every video not trying to you know figure out what's going on to see oh like what are they doing man like Hey, I got nothing better to do with my fucking life. I'm going to sit here and stalk people and see what they're up to. 
Okay, difference. Sometimes I like getting caught up in my readings, and here's why. Because of the fact that I find them entertaining. I watch quite a few of them because, you know, I there's certain ones, there's certain people I watch that I just get a kick out of. Everything that comes out of their mouth is freaking hilarious. Like, and I learn a lot. You know, I learn a lot better from listening to people and hearing, you know, their, te you know, I, I just love it. I love learning from other people, you know, certain things, you know, I love I, some of these decks I would have never known about. Like I couldn't find, I would have never found my Kipper deck if it wasn't for watching other readers, you know, and it was something that I just needed. Like it was, I couldn't, I was looking for different Oracle decks on Amazon, which is where I buy unless I go to a, like Amazon or different, you know, but this is, that was the first time. I ever saw a Kipper deck, and I actually had to search for it by name because it wasn't just showing up. Like, certain things you watch from, like, readers to learn about. Like, you you know, some people, like, this is one of the very few Zodiac decks that I have found that is just specifically Zodiac. And, I, you know, if it wasn't for another reader, I don't remember who it was. Um, but I saw it from them, and I was like, yeah, that's an amazing idea because that way it gives clear and precise messages of what's going on. Like, where placements are and things like that. So, you know, it's, it's really important to remember that when you're doing, like, if you're watching these particular readings, don't watch them with misintent because you don't want that anything that you're wishing on these people to come back on you. So just be mindful. I'm in over my head and I need help because nothing beats a quiet evening. Okay. However... If you're not mindful and you're too worried about being on your own and your situation, you feel like you're not making the right choices and you feel like you're in over your head and you need help, if you don't get the help that you need soon, you're going to end up in jail. If you're playing with the wrong things, you're going to end up paying. So be mindful. Okay. Be mindful. Okay, it's a give and take kind of love. I'm being told that, is this all for this one, Spirit? Is it for this one still? Both of them. Okay, I can't believe you actually did this to me. I'm going to be, actually, I'm being told to set these two separately like this. Okay. Now, Depending on which way you go here, okay, will determine which way this goes. Now, if you're just stressing and all you want to do is have a quiet evening at home and you're in over your head and you're not asking to get the help that you need and you freak out and do something ridiculous, you're going to end up in jail. Whatever it is. Whether it's your at home with your kids stressed out and if you're not you know and if you really don't have a whole lot of help and if you you know your person's not giving and taking and you're just feeling like you're in over your head the thing is is here's what I want to say to you as an at-home mom okay here's what I do as my personal testimony now I I like I'm a very precise person when it comes to certain details okay like I will get down to the nitty-gritty and bust out my math skills if I have to all right because I'm very good with numbers extraordinarily good with numbers and say just in sequences and stuff like that okay so I look at my month in a, in a lunar cycle because the moon truly does control everything okay so because if you look at your moon sign your emotions and I'm being told that your emotions are important and you need to be able to keep that in check. And if you follow the moon phase and figure out what your moon sign is, you'll be able to balance out your month and figure out exactly where you need to be, okay, to be able to go and do certain things. Like for me, for example, I have said this in a video before, I personally have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, for those of you who are females in this 3D, understand the cycle of the, the female body. Now, with my particular cycle, mine is induced with stress, which I combat with cannabis, yoga, um, healthy eating when I'm not like on fasts and stuff for spirit. Um, 
I do it with exercise, meditation, and prayer now. When I get overwhelmed, I excuse myself for a few minutes. I go into my sacred space and I purge spiritually. I cry if I need to. I grab my crystals, of course, and I just I give it all up to the Most High. Okay? Before, I would have lost my mind and had to call my therapist. I sometimes do still. And the thing is, is I'm understanding why now. Is because I'm, you know, nine days out of the month for me particularly. I like to know exactly how long I'm going to be, you know, in my mood of whatever it is that I'm having emotionally. Which I've actually learned how to control because I've given it up to the Most High God. And I've asked to learn how to have patience, you know, with myself, with others. And it's extremely important for whichever choice you're choosing to make here. Okay, if you're choosing to not get the help that you need, you're going to end up playing with fire and you're going to be in over your head and you're going to either act out and land yourself in jail for hurting somebody or something. Okay, and then you're going to be and somebody's going to be like, I can't believe you actually did this to me. Okay, or you're going to be saying she trapped me and I fell for it. I'm being told these are the two things you could be saying. Both of them. I can't believe you actually did this to me. You trapped me and I fell for it. Or one of you can be saying, I can't believe you did this to me. You hurt me, you know, uh, or, you know, or just somebody got trapped and, and they're, they, they believed it because they knew it was going to happen. You know, their intuition, you know, they weren't listening to their intuition and she got trapped for it and you got trapped and you allowed it to happen. Somebody has a snake in the family. I'm being told that there's, this is to go, this can go either which way for this. He or she cheated on me with my brother or sister. I'm being told that this... The one that this person... Hello, Moto. Confirmation. This one here... She's cheating on you. The one that's trash talking you, the one that you were given money to that got the police involved, they are trash talking you with either whoever they, whether you're the female doing this for a man, they're and they're doing this with your sister, or you're the masculine and they're doing then this female's doing it with your brother. However it is with you, okay. Now I'm being told this goes for everything. Now a very wise man that I used to call senpai said this to me okay a very 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 long time ago if you don't want to truly know the answer don't ask the question because I will always give you the truth now I stand firmly by that okay because there's nothing I have to hide if you really want the truth I'll give it to you okay so if you really don't want to know the truth don't ask the questions so be very careful if you want the answers ask the questions you'll get the truth and make sure that when you ask the questions, you say, I want the real truth, the honest to God truth under, under spirit. And if this person gives you that answer, you need to learn to accept that answer and take it for fit for what it is and believe this person. This is your moment. I'm being told from spirit. This is your moment to shine and learn to forgive the past and let it go. And give this person a chance to come clean if you want it. Now this I'm being told comes over here because this is this here. Actually, no, I'm being told to put it here. Okay. That there needs to crown this entire thing. Okay. Truth needs to crown this entire situation. If you're questioning something, if you're asking somebody questions, because you feel like they lie and they get away with it because they're manipulating you, ask them the questions. They will give you the honest answer, whether it goes like, Tch! or not, okay? <laughs> you gotta be blunt. You gotta just say it. You don't, you gotta grow the, you gotta get the, 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 the brass cojones, okay? You just gotta ask. If you wanna know the fucking answer, just ask the question. And listen to your, here's the thing, very specifically, listen to your intuition. Be mindful, pay attention, even if it takes a moment for you to process it, okay? If you ask a question, let me, my neck is just killing me. Um, when you ask, 
It's water, by the way. I do not drink alcohol if anybody ever wants to ask me that question. Uh, so if you ever see me drinking anything clear in a mason jar, it is just water, not moonshine. Because I'd be drunk as a skunk. <laughs> and I don't like being drunk. Anyway. Um, what is the question? What was I saying? Yes. So back to what I was saying. So if you are in a situation here where you are wanting to know about somebody, you want to get dig deep, deep, deep down in there. All right. If you want to know something and you want and you want to be sincere with that person, come up and say, hey, we'll just say, um, hey, Leo. Because that's my sign. I'm just using it because that's just, I don't know. Anyway, um, hey, Leo, are you X, Y, and Z with my brother? No. Okay. Well, then I have this other person here that I'm considering. Uh, hey, Gemini. We'll just use that as an example because it's the other card. Okay, it's the card that came out last, so I, whatever. Any hoot, I'm interested in you, and I'm curious. Are you diddling my brother? And if they say no, listen to your gut. If it flips and it makes you feel like you want to be sick, and it's because and you're not drinking and you're completely sober and all of that, and you're paying attention and you're like, oh, and you, if it flips, there's your answer. That spirit's kicking you in the gut, saying, hey. Hello. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm being told only one of those people are going to be able to be doing that. Okay? If you're not in the picture, and this is just like, oh, I met this person over here. I haven't really met her yet, and there's no way this... You have to think about it, man. You have to think about it. Think about the logic, the logical part of the whole thing. Okay? Think about the current situation that y'all are in about how this is because time is fluid time is fluid so whenever you're seeing it it's because that's the situation right then and there is somebody you either yourself or somebody in your immediate energy has something similar that may be part of this that may be going on okay like you have to think about every aspect of it. If you're coming to these readings with some kind of like, I really have, I'm on a spiritual journey. I really need to know what the actual F is going on. Like, I mean, I'm coming here to UG because you're resonating with me. I really am learning a lot from you, which thank you if you're thinking that. I'm just saying this because this is what spirit's pushing out my mouth. Whatever the case is, because I know people come to me or come to us readers on YouTube, not just me because I'm not the only one. I mean, I only have 66 of you guys that are hanging with me. So, I mean, our community is small, but we are well and, and, and you know, connected. And I'm grateful for you all. Now, you have to think about this. If you're coming to the readers that are putting out their stuff for free for you here on YouTube... You have to think about why we're doing it. It's because we, we are being pulled to our tables to put these videos up because there are people that can't afford to go and pay hundreds of dollars for professionals that may not know what the actual hell they're doing and they're being you know scammed out of money. You know what I'm saying? You have to just be mindful. So be you know pay attention. You'll know if you're paying attention to your gut, you'll know when things are resonating with you. These are these are these are things here that spirit's giving you to test your 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 faith in your gut intuition. Have you ever fought that gut intuition and went in the wrong way and had it end up leading you down the wrong path and screwing you out of something you really wanted? Yeah, that's your intuition. You need to start paying attention to that. That gut feeling that you feel when you get like when it just feels like a kick in the stomach sometimes to be 100% honest with you. It's like you're literally getting kicked in the stomach and you want to be you want to throw up. That's your uh, that's your if you're so straight sober and there's nothing like right now. The only thing that is a residual is from smoking like an hour ago. And that really did, I mean, I've been smoking on and off since I was 15, but consecutively for the last 10 years consecutively with very small breaks in between. So my tolerance for C, you know, for THC is extraordinarily high. I can, I don't stay loopy for very long. Okay. So right now, like I, and, and I come into these readings on an empty stomach. I come into these readings with water only because that's just, you, that's just the way it is. 
you pe I drink pure water. I do not drink soda. I only drink tea. And I do not put sugar in my drinks. So, like, you have to be mindful of what you're putting in your body now so that you can use your intuition. So that way, when you are coming out here and wanting to get the, the answers to the true qu answers to your questions, you'll know what to look for. So whoever it is that's coming to my channel to learn from me these tricks, I hope that you, I hope that you these this is learn you're learning something, okay? Because I am going through this right now. I am literally documenting my journey through my testimony with you guys by doing these readings. Okay? So, here's what I'm what I'm being told to tell you now. I haven't really looked at this card, so I'm looking at it with you now. Why are you trying to make me jealous? He slash she, I'm being told, can have your trifle and ass peace. Now, I'm being told, the one that can bring you to your knees with her body needs to be told this. When you ask her this question, if she's, if, if, if this is your story here, okay? If you ask this person, whether it be the Leo or the Gemini or however it is, but your first lady, I'm being told to put it like this. It could be your first lady or it could be your second lady. If you ask your first lady this and she says, no, I've never slept with your brother and you're, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. And if you ask person B here, hey, dude, did you sleep with my brother? Like something doesn't feel right here. And she says, no, babe, I would never do that to you. Like, how could you think that? Like... And your gut's telling you, like, bro, pump the brakes, hold on, why is she so defensive? Like, y you got to be mindful. Pay attention to what, how they're acting. Just pay attention to how they're acting. Why are you trying to make me jealous? You, they, he or she can have your trifle and ass, okay? The thing is, whoever's trying to make whoever jealous, the thing here, okay, about this, I want to put this right here. And by the way, your ancestors have your back in all aspects, divine masculine, divine feminine, your ancestors have your back against the karmic nonsense, okay? However it's going. So you are protected. And I'm told to leave this right here until I'm done talking about this. Jealousy now. Here's what I have to say about jealousy. Now, if you have female A, I'm going to just say because I'm, I'll do man, man men, okay? I have man A here who I love and adore and, and have full faith in him and know he wouldn't do anything to hurt me, okay? There is nothing I could do or he could do that would make me jealous because he's spending all his time with me, leaving everything alone, not paying no never mind to nothing and only focusing on the ones that are important when they're needed. And every other moment of their time goes to somebody else. There's, there should be no reason to feel jealous because if they're paying this other person, no, never mind. Like they ain't all up in there and they're not leaving you for them. And then, then, then no. There's no need to be jealous because if they're giving you your soul time, like their soul attention 100% of the time, like when they can, when you guys are like on a date or whatever, and they're not like on their phone and they're not, you know, talking to their, oh, oh, it's my girlfriend. Hold on. Let me just, no, you know, if it ain't their mother, if it ain't their child, if they ain't their family, like why, why are they, they're, their main focus, why is their friends interfering with your time? Like, that's not okay. Like if you're on a date. And, and, and Home Slice is sitting here on with her, mm, you know, like the whole effing time and not giving you no attention. Like what, you know, yeah, that, that there should be something to be jealous of. That, you know, I can understand the jealousy. There's nothing that you should be jealous about because there's somebody out there that's not going to make you feel that way. Okay. So jealousy is just the, a way for the darkness to take over you and manipulate you into feeling a certain kind of way about yourself. Like, oh, I obviously you don't matter like this person's more important over here when that person that they may be you know mess you know giving taking taking you know whoever that person is on the phone that's more important than you could possibly be the person that they're cheating on you with and it may be just a friend you know what i'm saying so be mindful pay attention there's no need to be jealous there's no need to be jealous let that person have her trifling ass because she's obviously not worthy of you you see what I'm saying? 
take go to the person be with the person that pays 100 would want nothing but you to be attached at their hip i'm being told like you want to be like siamese twins with them like you want to just be all up in their business and they want you to be they want nothing but to be loved by you not this person that's going to be too busy on her phone like there's more people important like planning her trip to Coachella is more important than, you know, being on a date with you where you're out at a nice dinner and you're trying to have a conversation with her. Okay? Now, because that person lies and gets away with it, cheats, is not protected by their ancestors because they're completely walking away from the, the, the light, whether tr they're telling you they, they're walking towards it or not. Be mindful. Okay. My drill instructor is in my face right now saying recruit pay attention to detail just like that and he what he was he was oh yes he he reminded me of the sheriff <laughs> my petty officer was a was a Texas man and he was like the sheriff and he was always in my face because you know I was 18 I was I mean I did really well in boot camp let me don't let me lie to you but I there were times where I screwed up and he was disappointed in me and you know when that man was disappointed and he got in your face and he said recruit you need to pay attention to detail and pay, and he had that southern accent and you knew he won't mm -hmm. that's what I'm being told right now somebody needed to hear it just like that there is a man that is like the sheriff, okay? The sheriff that is telling somebody right now, pay attention to the details of your life right now because God is giving you everything you need right now to put your ass on the path that you need to be on because we got your back. Your ancestors got your back. You're doing everything right. You just need to stay the course. We're going to help guide you if you do this right in that southern accent i'm being told to tell you in a southern accent and he's pointing to his chest and his badge and saying you know who the hell i'm who i am do not play with me whoa <laughs> i'm not playing with this man he very he's he says i am a very important person you know who i am do not play i got your back as long as you listen and pay attention and put it down wow very i mean my ears are on i'm gonna just say it holy spirit excuse me my ears are on fucking fire like no shit the back of my neck is on fire bro like this ancestor to whoever you are he ain't fucking playing bro i'm seeing the big brown boot again with it just and not like put no not toe first like heel first kicking you in your ass to your knees and putting you in your fucking place if you don't get your shit together. Wow, man. Can we calm down? Oh, no. I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but you're freaking me out a little bit. Wow. I don't need to sage. It's okay. I'm still, I'm, I'm still going to bless this place because my... Oh, wow. This man is very scary. I do, I do not uh, want to fuck with this energy. He seems to be a very loving man. Like, I can tell that he's got good intentions and he wants to be a good... He's got really good intentions and he's just trying to use his his sternness to remind somebody who the fuck they are. Holy crap, man. I'm, I'm like, actually shaking and it's, it's because of, like, I'm actually nervous. Like, this is fucking crazy. I love how he, uh, he, uh, got, I'm, I'm, I'm learning like why I'm being shown certain things and how it goes. And it's just really cool to see my, like, see this stuff coming into like my head, like how it just projects. It's, I wish I could just project it to, on the wall so you, I could just play <laughs> and you guys could just watch, <laughs> but I can't. So, but I'm being told this man is, is calling from, calling down to you and saying these things through me to you from the highest white light. I do, I, we are protected in this reading. There is no darkness allowed. And if I feel any darkness, I always get, you know, my sage. He's still here. I still see him very, very, very much so. And he's standing there like this arms crossed. And he reminds me, he's pointing to his badge. Like, you know, that I'm the sheriff in this town. Like, I'm the boss around here. You need to listen. I am the, I am the man. 
Oy vey. Oy vey. I don't want... We're gonna, your ancestors got your back. Oh, there was an abortion. Okay. There was an abortion. Put this here. Get this as far away from this as possible, I'm being told. Okay. No. No, 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 no. No abortions. Look. Look. Okay, look. I want to just... I want to put my viewpoints on this. It's your body. Do what you want. You have to deal with the most high God. That's all I have to say. Me, personally, I could never. I waited 18 years for the love of my life, who is my son. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I know people who have it, and, and they regret it, and they feel like shit for the rest of their lives. And I just... I just wanted my son so badly, so badly, that even if something happened, even, I'll be real with you. I'm just going to own personal testimony while we finish up here, okay? Justice has been served. Ooh, that, yeah, that, that man right now, that I, I feel like he's justice. And the choices that are made here are going to have, you're going to have to, ooh, that man, that energy, you're going to have to deal with that energy now, man. But back to this. Even, we'll say... If I was doing something, whatever, and I got into a situation where I'm like, I really don't want, I would have it because like when I had my son, I was, I'll be honest with you. I freaked out me and his father freaked out. Okay. And when I met him, there was, no, there's, there was like this moment of euphoric feeling that just changed my entire world. That even if adoption was something I couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to let him go. So there's just, for me personally, do, you have to think about these things. If this is a choice you're thinking about, okay? If this is a choice you're thinking about, you have to think about going and getting down on your knees and you need to pray to the Most High for guidance on what to do seek wisdom from people that may have had them, okay? And, and and ask them how they feel about it. Talk to them. Go to a, you know, go to a therapist if you need to. Go to some place if you're considering this. If you if you truly honestly feel like if you were we'll just I'm I'm not, I'm not wishing this on anybody. This is this is just an example, okay? Like in a if you were walking down the street and somebody were to jump out at you and get you and something happened and you know, it landed you with a position where you were considering this. That, I mean, under God could be understandable. However, I'm also being reminded if that situation happened, the child was meant to be born for a reason. Okay? To learn something. Now, always, it's an option. It's an option here in the 3D that can that can move you forward in a position and you might be able to, you know, but you have to think about the, the spirit realm where your soul resides. That is what's going to make it to where you rest at the end of this cycle, this, this life cycle in, in paradise, or if you have to come back down here and learn something, or if you do something treacherous, you may end up burning in hell, okay, in the darkness, alone. Okay, to face what you did, whatever it is, whether you're the man that put this poor person into this position to where she's considering this or had to do this to be able to protect herself, or you're the other way around. You know, you're, you got pregnant and you weren't doing what you were supposed to be doing the right way, and you were like, mm -hmm. You know, you got to think about it in a spiritual way, okay? Because the, either way, you, you're going to have to serve justice here in the 3D as well as in the 5D for everything you do. And with that ancestor that just came through for whoever you are, you don't want to have service. You don't want to have to serve justice with them because you're doing lying. You're whispering lies in the night to somebody. So you're going to make your choice. You, you're you're going to make your choice. Now it's time for you to accept what happens next. You may, oh, excuse me. You made your choice. Now it's time for you to accept what happens next. You only, I only want to be, all I want to be is your backdoor man this winter. My beautiful love, I feel your vibration. Okay. 
So I'm being told this is how they felt. This is how this is going right now. And when they come to you, this is how they're going to be feeling. Oh, this winter, this is what this is feeling. Okay, during the winter, when you see this, this is how you're going to be feeling as you're transitioning from this shit being a backdoor man, which if you don't know what that is, you know, Jim Morrison and, you know, backdoor man, <laughs> just saying, um, a backdoor man is somebody that's coming in and out of somebody's life, right? That has, okay, we're going to say we have main male, we have main female, and then we have backdoor man. Main male is out of town on business. Backdoor man is up in business diddling the female and he's running out the back door as hubby's coming home okay so when you're getting out of that back door mentality that back door man mentality and you're coming over here to get to whatever beautiful vibrations you're feeling you're going to be heading that way this winter or during not maybe not this winter maybe next winter maybe five winters from now maybe it could be 20 years from now who the hell knows but it's going to be winter time it depends i'm being told specifically the time line depends on what you do during this period because if you really really continue in this I'm being told to tell you this if you continue in this mentality and you want your freedom to come and go out that back door as you please you want your freedom you have it then I release you I'm over this and that'll be it and I'm being told that that is it oh uh, 111 on the phone or on the computer, excuse me, 111 on the uh, 1 hour 11 minutes that is important for somebody. 111, let me get the uh, angel number for those of you who don't have this app yet, which is, uh, oh crap, I gotta go. Uh, use angel numbers and I gotta go. Thanks guys, light, love, and blessings. I gotta go get my knee checked out. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a nice day. Gigi loves you. Light, love, and blessings. Bye guys.